Hi, I'm Mike Schlesinger, and this is Trailer Some Hell. Now, you're probably wondering why I'm using my real name instead of one of my cutesy pseudonyms. Well, we have an informal rule here at TFH. If it's something you were directly involved in, you should use your right name. And while I obviously had nothing to do with the movie itself, I did get involved about 30 years later. Now, get comfortable. This isn't brief, and I may be going the full arcish. If you just got off the bus from Branson, Watt Stax, a.k.a. the Black Woodstock, was a concert put on at the L.A. Coliseum by Stax Records in 1972 to note the seventh anniversary of the famous Watts riots. Stax was at its peak at the time, largely due to the massive success of Isaac Hayes' theme from Shaft, as well as many other hit albums, and a recent monster hit he co-wrote, Johnny Taylor's Who's Making Love, to your old lady while you was out making love. Legendary producer David L. Wolper was brought in to film the concert, which would be directed by Mel Stewart. The two of them had most recently collaborated on the only slightly different Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Artists who couldn't make it were later filmed in different venues. There were interviews with residents of Watts, including a then-unknown Ted Lang, and Richard Pryor was brought in to do some comedy bits, which would be popped in at various points. A distribution deal was made with Columbia, and the film was ready to go. And then the unthinkable happened. MGM threatened to sue, claiming they did not have the rights to use Shaft. What? Oh, wait. As Samuel L. Jackson would say, what the? <laughs> Why would you do such a bonehead thing, especially when you were still making Shaft movies? Oh, yeah, James Aubrey. Anyway, Isaac was pulled off a tour, came back and filmed a different number in a studio. It was spliced in, and the film was released on schedule. Now, flash forward 30 years. I'm at Sony, Columbia, and I get a call from someone at Fantasy Records, which now owns the Stax catalog. They want to put the movie back together and re-release it as it was originally intended for its anniversary. I said, great, but what about the Shaft situation? He assured me that as the films were now owned by Warner Brothers, it was no longer an issue. Naturally, such a righteous occasion demanded a new trailer. And right here is where this white boy got down. All of us have something to say, but some are never heard. I decided to start and end with Pryor, as he was now by far the biggest name in the cast. In this Coliseum, over 100,000 black people came together to commemorate that moment in American history. This is a film of that experience and what some of the people have to say. And of course, you gotta have Jesse Jackson leading the crowd and chanting his most famous catchphrase. Yeah. 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 Beautiful! Yeah. And right into the Staples singers burning up the place. Those aerial shots are something, aren't they? The Black Woodstock. That's Melvin Van Peebles, who'd recently had a huge hit with Sweet Sweet Back. We sang and we joked. It was a war. Now here's a deft bit of dialogue replacement. In community. Up until the point that we had a riot, everybody said, those suckers are all right. In the feature, Lang doesn't say suckers. He says the N-word. We knew that would be a problem even in 2003. And a sad note, I hired the great Roscoe Lee Brown to narrate the trailer, but he was a bit ill that day and his delivery was off. So as much as it hurt me, we had to replace him. Remastered in 5.1 Dolby Digital. And of course, we didn't want to delay the big restoration too long. Including... Right. Share the music. Alvin came up. That's the black man's cousin. And that could almost be the theme of the movie. You accidentally shoot a black man six times in the chest. <laughs> well, my gun fell and just went crazy. <laughs> the tears. That's why I walk the That's a beautiful shot through the flames. <laughs> the celebration. It's a hell of a feeling. Of a very special time and place. You'll see a side of life. What is it with that wig? That definitely is a side of life we haven't seen before. I love those psychedelic era wipes. Amusingly, Stewart later yelled at me for mentioning Wolper. He had nothing to do with it! Sorry, dude. And of course, we returned to Pryor and Shaft to end it on a high note. I'll always be happy to have been a part of returning this film to its proper glory. And if you saw Summer of Soul, you'll need to see this as well. Thank you.